In a certain school, there are 50 students who play three games. Before we've been dealing with two games, now we're dealing with three games. Three games, namely chess, tennis, and volleyball. 24 play chess, 26 play tennis, and 29 play volleyball. 9 play both chess and volleyball. 13 play both tennis and volleyball. 11 play both chess and volleyball. Each of these students plays at least one of these three games. Now, when they see that each of these students plays at least one of these three games, it means that all of them play at least one of the games. It means no one doesn't play. All the students, all these 50 play at least a game. So represent this information on a Venn diagram. That's going to be our first task. We interpret this question into a Venn diagram before we can answer any other questions. So this is our Venn diagram. In this Venn diagram, we have 50 students. So our universal set is 50 students. And these 50 students, they are playing three games. And these games are chess, tennis, and volleyball. So we shall say it is chess, tennis, and volleyball. So chess, tennis, and volleyball. 24 plays chess. When they say 24 plays chess, it means that the total number for playing chess is 24. So those who play chess is 24. Then 26 play tennis. So those who play 26 is Tennis, we put it up there. And 29 play volleyball. So those who play volleyball are 29. 9 play both chess and volleyball. So if it is both chess and volleyball, they are 9. Now what does that mean? It means that the intersection of chess and volleyball is their 9 students. Now these 9 students are including even these ones that are playing tennis. So they are 9. So we can't write it here because when we write the 9 here, it would mean that is chess and volleyball only without including volleyball, without including tennis. But they're telling us that those that play volleyball and chess are 9. So those that play volleyball and chess can also include those that also play in this part where they are both playing chess and volleyball but also tennis. So we shall put this line 9 here momentarily. So those 9 play both chess and volleyball. Let's put our that 9 right there. Then 13 play both tennis and volleyball. So both tennis and volleyball, it's the same story. They are lying in this whole group. So there are how many? 9. 9 play both chess and volleyball. 13 play both tennis and volleyball. So we put the 13 right there. Temporarily. Then 11 play both chess and tennis. Those who are playing both chess and tennis here are 11. So, we put it there. Now, if the question had told us that 9 play both chess and volleyball only, so it would simply mean that those who play chess and volleyball only are just this part. And we put them there. If they said those 13 play both, uh, 13 play both volleyball and tennis only, that word only, it would mean that this 13 is supposed to be put here. Now, since we know that this 9 represents everything inside here, this 13 represents everything here, and this 11 represents everything in the intersection here, we need to feed these figures in. So, we know that there is a certain number of students who play all the three games. We do not know how many of these are. So let's call it x. If this is a value of x, the number of students who play all the three games, it means that in this portion, therefore, we can say it is 9 minus x. Then right here, it's going to be 13 minus x. And then right here, it's going to be 11 minus x. Now, this, we are trying to build, interpret the question in the Venn diagram. So it means that we need to, for us to effectively represent this information in the Venn diagram, we need to first find this value of x. And then when we find the value of x, then we are able to represent everything in the Venn diagram. So if this is 9 minus x, 11 minus x, it means now this is out. So now we have these gaps that we still need to fill. This is p, let's call them letters, p, q, and r. So the value of p here is going to be, we get this circle, it is 24. 
the number of people who play chess is 24. So to get these people that play chess only, these are the people who play chess only. So the people who play chess only is going to be 24 minus these, because this is the whole circle. So we are supposed to get the total, which is 24 minus these people who play who are playing tennis and volleyball. So that we only remain with P. Likewise, Q. For us to get this value of Q, the number of people who play tennis only, it means you're supposed to get the 26, the entire circle, minus those ones, minus this, to get Q. It's the same thing with R. So let's compute for the equivalent of P, Q, and R. So our value of P here is going to be, P is going to be, 24 minus this plus that plus that. So it's 24 minus 11 minus x plus x plus 9 minus x. And that's going to be 24 minus, that is this and that will go, so we have 20 minus x. So this will become 24. When we open brackets here, this is negative 1 times 20 is minus 20. Negative 1 times negative x is plus x. We shall remain with our value of p as 4 plus x. So p is 4 plus x, so here meaning that our value of p here is 4 plus x. So we get the value of q. For us to get the value of q, it's going to be this whole circle. 26 minus this, that, and that, so that we get what is remaining here, Q. So our value of Q here will be the total, which is 26, minus the remaining. So it's 26 minus, minus this plus that plus that. 11 minus X plus X plus 13 minus X. And that's going to become 26 minus... This goes with that, so that's going to become 24 minus x. That's going to become 26 minus 24 plus x. So 26 minus 24, that gives us 2 plus x. So our value of q here is going to be 2 plus x. So we go ahead and find our value of R. Our value of R, it is going to be 29 minus this, that, and that. So R is going to be 29 minus 9 minus X plus X plus 13 minus X. So that's going to become 29 minus... 22 minus x. So we shall end up here with 29 minus 22 giving us 7. This and that is plus x. So our value of r here is 7 plus x. So we formulated our Venn diagram. It is having all these gaps filled. We said according to our question there is nothing outside here. All these students play at least one of the games. So we need to compute and get for the value of x. So we are going to add all these regions, this plus that plus this plus that plus this plus that plus that is equal to 50 and then from there we shall get a value of x. So it's going to become, so we compute. This is, you are going to add everything here and equate it to 50. So it becomes 4 plus x which is that, plus 11 minus x which is that, plus 9 minus x, which is that, plus x, which is that, plus 2 plus x, which is that, plus 13 minus x, which is that, plus 7 plus x, which is that, and all this is equal to 50, which is that, is equal to 50. So when we compute all this, we end up with 46 plus x is being equal to 6. 46 plus x is equal to 50. So 46 plus x equal to 50, when we collect like terms, and we make x the subject of the formula, we get our value of x as 4. So when we get our value of x as 4, it means that our Venn diagram, now we've got the value of x. So it means that when we start filling in, 
4 plus 4, this will become 8. 11 minus 4 is 7. This is 2 plus 4 is 6. 13 minus 4 is 9. This is x is 4. Then 7 plus 4 is 11. 9 minus 4 is 5. So it means our new Venn diagram is going to look like this. That becomes our new Venn diagram with our total being 50, the total number of all students here that are playing chess, tennis, and this is definitely volleyball. So that's our new Venn diagram. So we proceed with the question. They told us to represent the information on a Venn diagram, which we have just done. Then Roman 2, they're telling us, Roman 1, how, find how many students play all the three games. Now the students that are playing all the three games are those ones, four. We already got quite used to that. Roman 2, the number of students who play only one game. Now, the number of students who play only one game are these ones. Eight plus six plus 11. These eight, they play chess only. These seven are playing chess and tennis only. These ones play only two games only. These ones play all the three games. So 8 plus 6 plus 11. These ones are the ones who play only one game. So the answer to that is 8 plus 6 plus 11. 8 plus 6 plus 11 gives you a total number of 25 students who play only one game. Then... Roman 3, they're asking us to find the probability that a student selected at random plays only tennis. So, those people, students who play tennis only are 6. So, the probability is going to be equal to the number of students who play the game divided by the total number, which is, or which of the students who play the games, which is 250. So, it means the probability is going to be equal to 6 over 50. Which is end up going to end up three over twenty-five. That's the probability that a student selected at random plays only tennis. Please remember to share this video on other video sharing platforms and also subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching. This is Arnold Rangakuramia for Kisembo Academy.